Powder flies through the air like clouds billowing in the atmosphere as snowmobilers dart through open meadows. The spectacle of it is like a dance resembling ballet with its grace, but hip-hop in its energy. For a few months a year, this winter concert goes on with no need of music to set its tempo. In a world where the ever-presence of white accentuates even the slightest hints of color, the dance isn't about music, but sight, touch, and experience. That's the case today for David Stedman and Jared Hansen. We're above Mill Hollow Reservoir, snowmobiling in some of the best powder I've been in in a really long time. We're in the back country above Mill Hollow Reservoir in the deepest snow we've had in probably three to four, maybe longer years that I've been in. It's incredible back here, sitting about 95, 9,700 feet right now. Unless you get here, you don't know what it's like up here. It's just beautiful. Mill Hollow Reservoir is a small 17-acre body of water that gives fishermen and canoers a summer spot to enjoy their sports in the quiet forested hills east of Heber Valley in Utah's Uinta Mountains. Warm months offer rainbow and albino trout in abundance for the anglers, but come January, State Route 35 that leads to the lake is unrecognizable due to the 5 to 10 feet of snow that cover it. Calm fishing is no longer on the minds of most sportsmen at this point. Poles and nets are put away in favor of the thrill that accompanies gliding across the snow in an energetic waltz of horsepower and horse play. Most of the winter you'll actually find David and Jared inside. It's the shop at Stedman's Recreation that gets most of their attention during the chilly season. Here, their relationship with the sleds is slightly different. I get to work on them all day, every day, and it's my chance to get out and ride them even though I work on them. And I love the outdoors. I've always grown up in the outdoors. Utah has some of the best mountains on the, in the states, but I mean, you come up here for a sanctuary away from all the noise. Working in a shop, you hear no noisy motors, but it's nice to be back in one riding it instead of tuning it. <laughs> the sights are beautiful, the, the snow on the trees, uh, quiet, peaceful, you don't see anybody, hear anything. This is not beginner country up here. This is the back country where you better be prepared if you're going to be here. You need to have an avalanche beacon, shovel, a probe, cell phone's a good thing. The Mill Hollow area has become one of the Stedman family's favorite snowmobile venues. This season, with snow falling deeper and of a better quality than in almost any year in the past decade, the snowmobile fields of the entire state of Utah are literally a winter wonderland for sledders. Mill Hollow is the place today, but after 20 years of riding in all corners of the state, David and Jared have learned choosing a favorite is almost impossible. Well, Utah's got the greatest snow on earth. It's a well-known fact. There's so many different places and areas to go in. You got so many options to get away from everything. The people, the telephone, the noise, the, the pollution in the wintertime. So if you've never tried it, get your gear, get warmed up, get some good Dragon snowmobiles and get up here and try it out because it's incredible. The dance will continue wherever snow falls and lands remain open to snowmobilers. There may not be any music, but a skilled sportsman can set his own tempo. Whether a slow tap or a saucy tango, the excitement of the snowmobile experience is the same. It don't get any better than this. From the snowy landscape of the West, I'm Bob Welty.